Present practice. What is vibing? This is Vish. And today, I'll be talking to you all about the crossing of two worlds and the significance of what that means. So, before we start, I want to quickly show you all where I'm at. Uh, currently, actually, at McDougal Street. We're talking uh, New York City, basically. I want to show you around. So, there's a city. Say hi. Hey. Introduce yourself. I'm Simran. How do you know me? Uh, I've been annoying you since day one. There we go. What's up? I'm Sonika. How do you how do you know me? Her. <laughs> Who's that? I'm Who's that? Come on. I'm Marsha. How do you know me? I'm your sister. <coughs> yeah. And <laughs> hold up. <laughs> and I'm here with. What's good? Who 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 are you? My name is Port. And how do I know you, bro? <laughs> I guess uh, we're friends. There we go. We're best friends. And uh, so yeah, crossing of the two worlds, what that means is pretty much, and this is going to be personal as well, so I'll make it more spiritual as well as realization based in a second. But what that really just means, at the personal level at least at first, is the people I introduced you at first, the Simran, Sanikam, I pretty much knew them growing up back in Long Island, New York, where we, where we were, where I used to stay. And uh, at the literal level, to get straight to the point, growing up with them, and then now being with one of my best friends now, Parth, uh, who I met at UT Austin, Texas, hook him, hook him. And uh, yeah, so we're super close right now, and the point I'm making is, it's a really beautiful thing to see these two worlds intersect, right? How close are we, Bish? <laughs> we're very close. What uh, are some of the things that we do together? <laughs> we meditate together. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, pretty much the whole what point is together, bro? eat food together like we are right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, uh, what did you guys do yesterday? We walked around together. That's it? Yeah, so anyways, with that being said, it's really cool to see these two worlds collide. I mean, it's an interesting thing actually because most people, most people would describe these types of things as weird, quote unquote. But as I've realized and transcended the whole feelings as well as thoughts kind of dimensions, there is no such thing as weirdness. Weirdness itself in a way is just an opinion, a judgment, and the judgment and opinion is really just another thought. It's created by the preconditioned unconscious mind, really. Anything that's new to you is considered weird because it's not a part of the karmic memory that you have. Karma meaning action, or action memory, that is. So anything that's foreign to you or new, and that's not a part of that memory bank, is considered weird in a way. It might seem like that. But when you truly learn to be present through it all, and truly realize that, you'll naturally see that every single moment that you have is new. So there is no weird. Now, the reason I'm even saying all this stuff is to help you and really shed more clarity on treating every single moment as a new. When you start doing that, you are literally at an even karmic level letting go of karma, which is the attachment to the preconditioned egoic mind activity, which in turn helps you, in a way, get towards a path of, let's call it enlightenment, liberation, whatever you want to call it. So, I know I'm throwing a lot of big words at you all. I've made other videos on this, so please check those out. But really just the idea is to be present. Truly just be present. Are there any words you want to talk about being present? I, no, I don't have any, but thank you. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say something about being present? Uh, no. Russia, present? I guess that's fine. What do you mean what be you present? Mean present? Be like, present. Like however you right take now. it. There we go. Well, however you take it. However you take it. Let's. But she just said something. What'd you say? One side. What'd you say? I said we're present right now. What makes you say that we're present right now? I mean, I can see I'm here, so. Okay. What does that mean to you, Sonica? The time. <laughs> the time. Present, past, future. I don't know. Did you say like the time? Marsha, what about you? Come on, talk. I don't know. Say something. Come on. I'm very. Just speak. It's right out of you, come on. <laughs> I don't know what to say. 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 I don't
Wait, what is present? Present being present mean to you? In the moment. In the moment. Hold on. Oh, by the way, I packed your suitcase today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What did you do? Make plans complicated. So this is the brother. Parth. He's the one that got me into meditation. So I'm curious, what does it mean to you, man? Being present. I think presence to me just means being able to. I mean, like just be in the moment, right? So you don't want to. You don't want to think too much about the future. You don't want to think too much about the past. It's more of just taking each moment as it is. You know how. However it's going, and just you know. Just rolling with it. I mean, there's, there's no point in thinking about the past or the future because that just kind of takes up, you know, psychological space in your mind. It's better to just, you know, be in the moment, be present. You know, there's this quote that I really like. It's um, it's by Master Uguwe in Kung Fu Panda, my all-time favorite movie. Mm. And it's uh, the past is a memory. The the future is a uh, the future is uh, something, but this moment is the present, right? And that's why this moment is a gift. You don't have to stress this, bro. <laughs> took him, took him. I forgot the quote. Norris, Norris, I love that. Thank you for sharing, bro. For sure, for sure. Appreciate you sharing and yeah, Norris. And so. Pretty much, I mean, as he said it beautifully, I mean, it's it's all, all that you'll ever have, this present moment. Now, I want to quickly introduce my mom to the camera, as well as uh, Simran's mom. So oh, wait, I got you. I he, got, got you. he got the quote, he got the quote. Let me get you the quote. Let's hear it. So, the past is history, the future is a mystery, ah. but today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. That's it. That's a beautiful, beautiful way to put it, and it's super simple, too. And with that being said, I'm going to introduce my mom real quick. I want to have you hold the bag. Yeah, I really love how you do like the Mom. What is? Hold on. <laughs> one, one question. Auntie, one question for you as well, for your mom. One question. What is it about? I'll tell you. Uh, can you hear? Okay. What does being present mean to you? What is? Being present mean to you. To be here right now. Okay. Yes. Nice. Mom, for you. Where are you? Alright, mom. What does it mean to you? Look at that. Mom. Mom. Why should we wait? Look at him. You should please wait. Alright, hold on, hold on. What did he say? Ma, you're bum. Take your time, take your time. Look here. What does it mean to you? Uh, just being happy around wherever you are. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. That's the mom, and that was made that to you before. So, I appreciate you who's watching being present while I moved around. So, I know the topic initially was the crossing of the two worlds, and we kind of diverted, or let's call it uh, rerouted, rerouted towards talking about present. Being present, that's such an interesting thing I learned recently too. Because I used to say, if you've probably noticed, presence and then do this quick breathing warm up with you, it's actually kind of wrong. I used to say presence mm. and I'd do this whole. See, presence doesn't mean being present. Presence literally just means like your kind of aura or like your. You see what I mean? It can get very commonly mis used or miss you know connected. So, go ahead are you saying like it's like the energy you get kind of yeah whereas i used to tend to for whatever reason or maybe it was unconscious in nature associate those two things as the same so you learn you live and you learn literally and uh it's all about the conscious iterations that you take and yeah that is most of what i wanted to share with you all i really wanted to appreciate you all for taking this time to watch this video it's kind of a mixture like a vlog slash talking about crossing up two worlds and then being present and it's really iconic because this is happening right now first ever actually no yeah first ever video ish uh realization video that is in new york city so with that being said make it a great day take it joyfully hey welcome, welcome. how are you <laughs> the dad just came here Okay. Make a great day. Take it joyfully. Present.
Stay conscious and ecstasy. Can you uh, can you turn it off? How do I turn it off?